Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a big Friday on Fever 22 Ultimate Team with the Headliners Team 2 here inside of Fever 22 today. Also, Team of the Year information. Yes, it is starting to be time to think about the Team of the Year promo, which is coming very soon. We have today officially going to be released some of the names of nominees that we will be voting on in the next coming days on who we want to be in team of the year. So we'll take a look at that information today. And there's a lot of, I guess, uncertainty with the market on this game right now, because there's still a lot of packs. EA have not compensated players on this game from last Friday's last week on Friday, one week ago. Of course, if you guys did not know, EA made a mistake with the Ramsdale card showing as it was in packs, but it actually wasn't. So they were giving back a ton of packs. They have not compensated as of yet. We didn't have a preview pack yesterday, but that's another thing that we're a little worried about. Could we see another preview pack today? Because EA dropped preview packs on Wednesday, and oftentimes they drop them quickly in succession a couple days uh, after the original one has been, uh, you know, put in the game. We've seen that earlier on this year, so we're cautiously expecting that today on this game as well. So I want to take a look at the leaked team. I want to talk about the SBC's objectives we could see today, content as a whole, and just the state of the market because the market has been pretty quiet this whole past week. It's been a great market to trade in. A lot of, you know, flips have been made, icons, out-of-pack special cards. It's been a great market to trade, but is that going to kind of slow down a little bit because of this headliners team too. Is EA going to crash the market? Do they have plans of doing that? Because they can do that at a moment's notice, as we all know. So we're going to have to talk through all of those things today. I also want to make a quick little bit of a statement on the hacking situation because evidently EA might make their own statement today on Friday about all the hacks that have been going on. I know that doesn't really pertain to a lot of you guys watching this video, but it's FIFA news. So I want to kind of talk about that because we might see something today. So if you haven't heard anything or you're a bit surprised, uh, you'll be in the know after we talk through things. But if you're excited for team of the year or headliners team two, which is going to be an insane team today from the looks of it, of course, drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. Now, speaking of headliners team two, Let's look at the squad that we kind of knew was coming, but um, the squad that we are going to be seeing today includes most of these players. Now, of course, probably three to four of these are not going to be actually released in packs today, but Salah, Kimmich, Cancelo, Vinny Jr., and Fofana, Barella, Rafael Leal. There's a ton of cards in here that would look really, really nice today with some of the upgrades that EA are giving them. We've seen some of these confirmed stats. Now, my only word of caution would be, just like last week with Headliners Team 1, they held Nabry, Savernier, Sangari, and Schick as a mini release. We have the same amount of players, 15 players, I believe, right here as leaked. So there's probably going to be four of them today that are not included in the initial 11 that go in packs. So just again, be careful with that because if you're really looking forward to like Cancelo today and Cancelo is not in packs, you know, he might be out on Sunday. So don't freak out if that's something that happens. But this is the leaked team uh, of the players that we should be seeing. And again, some of these stats look really, really good on these cards that have been released. So it's, it's going to be an exciting day. There's going to be cards today that people will sell items in their current ultimate teams to go and get. And I think that's one of the number one things that I'm curious to see today on this game. Is there panic selling? Because I feel like there's a lot of reasons for people to potentially panic, but I'm gonna, I, we're going to have to see if it actually happens. Now, another piece of content that is leaked to be coming today, we had a really insane objective last week with Felipe Anderson, right? The Brazilian left mid. It looks like we're getting another insane objective, and this has been leaked from earlier on in the week but Zakaria, and everybody is hyped about this. Of course, Zakaria is a FIFA card. This objective is going to get very, people very, very hyped. There's already cards that have started to rise in value with links to this item. It's going to be very, I'm going to be very curious to see today if the objective is again, like the most hyped part of the game. I doubt that it is because the team is definitely going to be better today than it was last week, I think. Um, but then, you know, from there, it all comes down to the SBC. And this is where the big question mark is. This is one of the biggest question marks for headliners content today. What headliners SBC or what SBC content in general are they going to be dropping? So we've had Ben Rama, we've had Julian Brandt. Um, you know, I really don't know what SBC they're going to be dropping today on this game. I would assume there's, there's two names that have been thrown around for headliner SBCs that could be coming soon. One of those is Kloss, right? The right back from League Un. Um, 
as a French right back. A lot of people are, you know, waiting for this SBC because they think this one would be a very popular item because there aren't a ton of French right backs in this game. Um, and this guy would have incredible links and his card would look really, really good. High, high work rates, 3-3. Three, three. Um, he's already got 90 pace. Can, if you can imagine like an 86 rated Colossus or maybe even an 87 if they gave him a big boost um, in the game today, you're talking almost all of his stats in the 80s, especially physicality, passing, maybe defense, dribbling up in the high 80s to 90s. So this would be a card a lot of people would be interested in if the SBC is pretty cheap. So really keep an eye out for some of those French links today because if this guy gets an SBC, that's going to be a very popular one. Now that's leaked to be coming, but not necessarily for today. I'm sure today on Friday, as we get closer to the content drop, we will hear some more information about what SBC is coming today. Uh, but Klaus and then also Dimitri Payet are two names that have been thrown out there for potential SBCs that could be coming. But I think that's one of the areas today on the market that could be affected. The SBC, whatever is dropped today as a player SBC, could affect the market a lot today. If we do get a Klaus and if it's not very expensive, a lot of people, especially with this inform Hakimi and even other right backs that are in the game, but specifically this inform Hakimi, there's a lot of people waiting to see what happens with the Klaus SBC because if Klaus does not come, I think this Hakimi rises up out of packs. But if Klaus does come, this Hakimi is probably going to drop some more and other right backs in this game are going to drop because that Klaus item would be very, very sought after. So whenever he drops, I think you'd see those movements. Maybe that's today, maybe it's not. That's one of the question marks on this game today. Now let's talk about market as well because there are two major things still on this market today, and I mentioned some panic selling, right? Today, as a Friday, it's there's just a lot going on, right? And it's not a lot going on necessarily from a content standpoint. There's a lot going on, like if you're in the mind of somebody who is conscious about prices in FIFA today, or if you hear about some of the cards that are coming out today, and then you combine that with, you know, we've had preview packs this week, or, you know, the team of the year stuff is really starting to ramp up. And if people are going to start seeing stuff about team of the year, they think, okay, team of the year market crash. There was a loading screen that was put out on the game earlier yesterday that showed some of the nominees. I think EA actually leaked their own nominees on the game yesterday. Uh, so I'll talk about that in a little bit when we get to team of the year info, but market specifically today, the market's been very very, I don't want to say stagnant, it's, but it's just been very, very solid, right? It's been a lot of people have been buying cards. You've seen a lot of fluctuations throughout the week. That's That shows signs of a healthy market, right? People are playing FIFA. They're buying cards, trying out items, building teams, and just playing this game right now at the moment with how healthy the market has been. You can just tell. Um, but we're kind of in that time frame where if EA really wanted to start to create like a little market crash scenario like they did pre-Black Friday... If they wanted to create that situation here this weekend, like the same time frame they did before Black Friday, this is where we are right now for Team of the Year. About two weeks out, a little over two weeks out for Team of the Year. It's coming, but it's also a little bit further away yet. So I'm just interested to see the number one thing that I would watch out for today. I don't think this is a very high probability, but preview packs. We had a 25K preview pack earlier on this week. They haven't dropped preview packs on a promo Friday in a really long time. Like I think they've only done it one time ever. And it was the first time they came out in FIFA 21. So I feel like it's a low percentage chance that they would drop it today. Maybe sometime later this weekend, they would go out and do that. But there's still a small chance of it because we had the 25Ks on Wednesday. And oftentimes when they drop one preview pack in the store, they usually follow it up with another one soon after that. We've noticed that when they've run preview packs before in the past. So just keep an eye on that today. But the bigger thing that's really impacting the game, and since this has not dropped in the game yet, a lot of headliner prices are going up. One thing that's really impacting the market and because it hasn't been released yet is the compensation packs, right? And a lot of you guys have known and have said, Nate, this compensation stuff, Acuna is flying right now at the moment. Acuna is 115,000 coins on the market. Um, is this because Sevilla played? Yes, Sevilla played and they won. Interesting, but Acuna did not score a goal. Kunde scored. Anyways, um, some of these headliner cards are rising out uh, as they head out of packs because the EA Sports has not delivered that compensation, right? You guys remember the Ramsdale card. If you, if you did not know this, this is kind of the situation that we are working through 
at the moment. And as we see right now, EA has not compensated packs. They have not compensated packs. They've not compensated players. So we are awaiting the situation to be resolved. And, you know, of course, there's a lot of waiting and a lot of potential crashing when that resolve happens. And when you see those packs given back to people, there's going to be a ton of supply put onto this market. So that's another thing that's hanging over the heads of people right now in this game is when are EA Sports going to give back those packs. If that happens before 6 p.m. UK today, you're gonna have a lot of people that will that will sell these headliner cards. Like look at Nabry right now, 220,000 coins. He was 199, 200,000 coins flat yesterday. He's up like 20K. Reese James is up like 20K. Acuna is up a lot right now. Luis Diaz is up like 15K. So a lot of the headliners, as we thought they might, are starting to rise. So if you took that risk, uh, you're looking really good right now at the moment, but again, that compensation when EA drops those packs, how is that going to impact the market today? If they drop the compensation or if they don't drop it before 6 p.m., these headliners are probably going to rise a little bit more and people are going to be very worried about the headliners from Team 2 They will be dropping in the game today because, of course, if they don't give those packs back before 6 p.m. UK and the content drop time today on Friday... Team 1 is going to be out of packs and Team 2 will be in packs. And that means Team 2 is going to have all that those extra packs, all that supply. is just going to be for those cards and not for Team 1. So that's going to be a very interesting scenario. We're just going to have to follow that um, until we see the compensation, to be completely honest. So for market and for trading today, you know, of course, you're going to have lightning rounds. Even if we don't have preview packs, I would 100% expect to see some lightning rounds. So maybe some of you guys that are just trying to build teams... Um, and you know, you've got, you, you got messy, right? So you got messy in your squad. Um, I just typed in Leo instead of Lionel. What am I doing? Uh, you know, Messi's right around 300,000 coins. We're going to have lightning rounds today. Yeah. Maybe Messi goes from 305,000 coins, 310 K. Maybe he drops down to like 290, 280, 290 for a little bit. And then rebounds back up to 300 K. It would take a big SBC preview packs or compensation packs, like right at the content drop for for a lot of things to crash today, right? I mean, it's it's gonna be a day where also the market is still very healthy. So I think that you're gonna see some panic selling on some of the out of packs cards, just because people are gonna wanna try out the brand new items and they're gonna have coins to do so. And there's not like insane SBCs out at the moment. There's a few decent ones, but a lot of the focus is gonna be on the new cards that are in packs today. So you might see a few people, especially on some of these prime icons, that of course people are going to be worried about more pack supply coming to the market today. As I'm trying to flip a few of these, like I bought a Roberto Carlos at 1.2 mil. He's still right around 1.3. I bought a Rio at 1.2 mil as well. He's 125. So I'm going to try to get a few of these icons that I'm trading with out um, of my club and out of my transfer list and get them flipped and sold uh, before today because I think there could be some more panic on some of those cards. You know, even some of your out of packs cards like Winter Wild Cards versus Ice, Fire, Inforums, um, anything, right? I would watch out for a little bit of panic today. Um, and if the promo, if there's not a big SBC, there's no big preview packs, the compensation hasn't arrived, then it might seem a, like a little bit of a quieter day ex except for the new cards. You might see some of the market rebound back. So it's just going to be one of those days where we're going to have to roll with the punches in terms of trying to make coins on the game today and maneuver the market. But I don't think there's like a huge, huge uh, opportunity if, if you just have, you know, like Messi or Ronaldo or like Marquinhos or, you know, a gold Salah or a player like that in your team, I, I don't see a really, really big uh, need for you to like sell those cards and to be scared for today. I don't think there's going to be insane market drops unless, of course, EA does something crazy, which we just don't know until it happens. So that's kind of my thoughts on the market. Beware of the team of the week cards, like Conte specifically. This Conte, who I sold for 870 last night after buying him at 780, he's been dropping down all day and he's going to keep dropping more, right? Because people are going to be getting their packs. They are going to be getting uh, their team of the week packs from finishing the weekend league. And you've got a Fofana that's coming out today as well. So it's a new center midfielder. Zakaria is coming out. Barella is coming out. So there's a lot of midfielders that people are really excited about for today's game. So just kind of watch out for that. I think there's going to be a lot of market movements. The pack weight on these cards is probably just going to be around the same as headliners team one. I would not expect anything different from that. Um, you know, wild cards team one and team two was pretty similar. So I would say that's probably going to be 
4 to 5% today, even though there's less cards in packs for um, the headliners team two out of a 50K pack, it would be about the same. So that's kind of everything related to headliners and watching the market. Now let's talk team of the year because some people, you know, I got to show you this loading screen, right? Because yes, EA Sports tweeted this on yesterday. They said, back the world's best team of the year starts tomorrow, which would be today. So they're revealing the attacker nominees. And I think this was an inadvertent mistake by EA Sports. You know, what's a surprise? This happens a lot, right? They This was a legit loading screen that was in the game. I think this loading screen is going to return today. Now, here's the thing. Does this mean that attacker nominees are going to be in packs? In my opinion, no, because they do not show stats on these cards. And all they show is kind of like their headshots, right? I do not think this means that these cards are going to be in packs. Because if you read down here in the bottom left too, it says voting starts in three days, 17 hours. I literally just think this is EA showing us the nominees, but I don't like this. I don't like this for a market standpoint because some people might see this and be like, oh my goodness, these guys are going to be in packs. Because every other time there's been loading screens in FIFA, those cards that are shown on the loading screens, even though these aren't full cards, these are just nominee items, right? Even though those aren't full cards actually shown, every time we see a loading screen, those cards that you see on the loading screen are in packs. So I think that's my one worry about this game today. Are people going to see this and get scared and think they're in packs and try to find them on the market and be confused and like sell their cards because like, oh my goodness, team of the year is here. That's what I don't like about this, but hopefully people just understand and read that it says attackers nominees. So these are the attackers that we will have to choose from and to vote on on Monday, on the 10th of January, when the voting actually starts. So a little bit of confusion, confusion from EA. I feel like they could have done this better. Just, you know, just make a loading screen like this for team of the year and then say like attacker nominees, you know, voting starts Monday and count down to the voting or something. I don't know. I just feel like this creates a false sense of where are these cards at in the game because you're showing them to me on the loading screen. Now, if EA does something crazy today, unexpected and drops these cards into packs, I don't even think we have a legit card design added to the code for a team of the year nominee. I don't think they would do that on the same day as headliners though. That'd be crazy. And that would cause the market to crash, but that'd be totally unexpected. So I wouldn't think, I, I wouldn't get too deep in thought about that in my opinion for the team of the year stuff today on this game. So honestly, what I'm feeling for today is the headliners team two, some sort of SBC. We're not sure yet. It's probably going to be leaked closer to content drop. Um, not too much else in the SBC department, then the objective Zakaria, then the new cards that are in packs, right? So that's what I'd be watching out for today. I think there's going to be a lot of market movements. It all depends on the compensation, it all depends on the preview packs. So today is just a, it all depends day, right? It depends on when EA get things done and what they really want to do and what they, what their plans are for the market today. We're going to have to just roll according to how the content drops if you will. But last thing I want to talk about really quickly is, is I want to talk about this, uh, the hacking situation. I know that this doesn't affect a lot of you guys, which is why I wanted to save it for the end of the video, but I'm sure you saw it yesterday on Twitter. A lot of people, especially those that are on the top 100 list of transfer profit or club value. Basically, these guys are trying to hack FIFA accounts so that it can get the value out of the account and then sell the coins. Or if somebody has a lot of coins or a lot of club value, that means they have you know, a lot of worth. And those people can go into those accounts, they can liquidate those accounts, get the coins, and then sell those coins on, to third-party coin buying and selling websites and get actual dollars for them. And the real reason why these people are getting hacked is it's not because they don't have security measures in place, right? Like a lot of you guys know Nick run the foot market, right? He definitely, and all these other guys too, the ones that have gotten hacked, they're not just giving out their passwords for people to log into their accounts. These people are getting access to these accounts. The hackers are getting access to accounts by calling EA help and saying, basically, this is the analogy that I was using on stream. They're knocking on the door to EA help and saying, hey, I'm I'm Bateson or I'm Nick run the foot market or I'm, you know, X top 100 trader and I changed my gamer tag um, and I can't get on my account. Can you change my account you know, to be this gamer tag. And the EA helped guy just opens the door and be like, yeah, sure, let me do this for you without verifying that that person is actually the owner of the account. They're just complying with whatever the person asks and doesn't actually, there's no like checks, balances and measures and controls in place. 
to really make sure that the person they're dealing with is the person who actually owns the account they're trying to claim is theirs. So that's why there's an issue with this. And again, there's been a lot of articles, a lot of media outlets have written um, up posts about this. And there's another update that says that EA is preparing an official response to the hacking situation and that it would be shared today. So that's, if you see a tweet from EA Sports, um, maybe keep an eye out for it. We'll see what they say. I feel like, you know, whenever we have a situation like this, the response that we get is nothing more than just kind of lackluster, but we will see if EA is going to make any changes. Um, I hope that none of you guys have had to deal with this. I know it's not just people that have a lot of coins. I don't know if I am in jeopardy or not. Of course, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm not going to try to worry about something uh, and live in fear of something that I can't control, right? We've got all the proper security measures in place, account-wise, data-wise, um, and it's just the, the the reason people are getting into these accounts is because EA is literally just opening the door and, and changing things on a, on a moment's notice when they're not checking to see who actually owns the account. So it's really hard. And I know some of you guys might be like, well, just, just, you know, tighten up your security. Well, it's not that easy because you just can't, right? Because these people are bypassing what's supposed to be safe, two-factor authentication, all that stuff. Uh, ooh, that was kind of a cheap Eto, 3299. Yeah, some of these primes might drop in today. Just a tidbit. I mean, these these primes didn't really rise back up. 3299 on Mateus as well. Yeah, we're going to watch primes today because they could be really good to trade with. But anyways, um, I just want to speak a little bit about the hacking situation because I know it's not affecting a lot of you guys. You're just hearing about it and seeing it. Um, but it is a big issue and it's just, it's just more um, exposing a problem with the EA help side of things. And hopefully we do see some legit change. So anyways, I didn't want to spend too much time talking about that because it's negative, right? And we're here to have fun to play FIFA and to look at cool cards and have fun on this market and on this game. And that's what we're going to do today with Headliners Team 2. If you want to watch the streams, we'll be streaming live during the Headliners Team 2 release and talking about it all there. That link, Twitch link is down below in the description, but it should be a fun Friday. There's a lot going on. So we'll try to, you know, figure everything out, come back tomorrow, have a synopsis of it and what to look forward to into the weekend as always after a big promo Friday. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.